All right, here's where we are so far. Let's get the uh, background color here on the nav. Not just the link, but the nav. So we'll open that in Photoshop. I think it's still open. There we go. And do a sample here. 333. All right. Save and refresh. There's that. And I believe the background color, let's look at the instructions. The background color for this hover is the same as the link color that we created. So we can use that color that we used for the link as the hover. Oh, look, I'm missing my... I must have accidentally cut that out. And I'll copy this. And then it's got a text color of on the hover, the text is, <clears throat> oh no, I think it's this color, the dark gray. Let's take a peek at this. Yeah, that looks good. Let's take a look at the column here, the second one. It's, I think that is, Let's see, a little gray here, so it's probably the same as that gray. It actually looks a little lighter, but I'm going to make it that one for consistency's sake, and if it looks fine, I'll leave it. If it doesn't, I'll lighten it a little. Um, I think that that was part of an aside, so let's take a peek. It's an aside tag, so I'll give the aside a background color. Save and refresh. Oh yeah, that's pretty dark. Let's just jump over to Photoshop and check it out. All right, that's F1s, so we'll go back and change that. Save and refresh. Much better. <laughs> 